As you take off materials for your project, there will be times where it's more effective for you to make changes to your takeoff items by using the multi-select feature that's available in the digitizer window. There are a couple of reasons why you may want to make use of this multi-select feature. First, if you want to make changes to a collection of items and you can't make that change from the takeoff items list. For example, these beams here. Let's say that we wanted to make them two plies. But if we look in the takeoff items list and right click, you'll see that the plies is not an option we can change. Or secondly, you may want to make changes to only a portion of a takeoff item. So these floor joists, if we click on them in the takeoff items list, we'll note that all of those floor joist items are going to be selected. Thus, if we were to change the product, all of those joists would be affected. And maybe we only want to affect the center group of joists. The first step in making use of the multi-select feature is to actually select the items that you want. You can do this in three ways. The takeoff items list select, the single select, or the box select. If we come to the takeoff items list and select on a particular line, all of the items that are represented by that line will be selected in the digitizer. Or, if you come to the digitizer and select singly on an item, you can select it and it will be something that you can adjust. Finally, you can use the box select feature. Let's say that we wanted to select a collection of items in this lower corner. I could click and hold and drag my mouse to create a box around those items that I wanted to select. Since I have gone from the left to the right, only those items that are contained entirely within my box will be selected. So since my box was all the way around the hangers and those joists, those joists are the ones that are selected. However, if I was to draw the box from the right to the left, in addition to getting those items that I have completely surrounded, I will also get those items that are simply crossed by my box. So here you can see that in addition to the joists that I've surrounded, I'm also crossing these upper joists, this beam, and this section of rim. And as I release it, those items get selected as well as the items that were within the box. The next step is to access the control right click menu for the items that you have selected. Let's say, for example, that we wanted to change the plies on a couple of these microlam beams. So we'll come to the takeoff items list and click so that they're selected. Then we'll come back to the digitizer window, hold down the control key, and right click while we're doing that. And we get this menu, which allows us to make an operation on two line segments. Notice the number at the top of the menu all of these different actions we could take and they would be applied to both of them. So for example, if we come to plies and choose two, two plies are applied to both of those segments. In this case, these beams shared the same properties. They were identical to each other. However, there will be times where you make selections where the items aren't the same in all respects. For example, here we'll select these microlam beams which are two ply, and we'll hold down control and come select this parallel beam, which is a single ply in the digitizer. We'll hold down control again and right click in the digitizer to open the context menu. All of the places where you see the word multiple indicate that the selected items do not share the same setting for that particular attribute. So in this case, we know that plies for the microlam were two, and the parallel were one. Thus, when we look down here at plies, it shows multiple. But if we make a change, such as setting them all to one, that change applies to all of the members. These first two examples show what happens when you make a selection for items that are similar. All of those items were segments. But you might also make a selection for items that are different, such as segments or edges of container or counts areas, and so on. If you make a selection with multiple types of items and you hold down control and right click, you'll see a menu like this, where first 
there is a menu that shows all the different types of items. And then as you go to, for example, the line segments, you can make adjustments to the line segments or to the generated members. So in this case, you simply find the type of item that you want to make a change to and then navigate to the appropriate place in the menu to make that change. So as you work on your takeoff, remember that the multi-select feature is yet one other way that you can make your process more efficient and effective.